Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be reviewing the one and only Max D5 pack from Spin Master Monster Jam. So today I'm just going to review this one, seeing as for Hot with Monster Trucks. I don't really want to review anything today for that, but I did want to go into this since it is pretty old. But I really want to get into this before it's like super outdated, so um, uh, yeah, we're just going to get into this one. I'm going to start off from the uh, newest to the oldest. So we're going to start off with, of course, my least favorite, the Red Max D. So I'm not saying the Red Max D is terrible um, by Spin Master, but it definitely is not the best thing in the world. So as you guys can see here, we got 11 times champion. The decals on here are pretty good. I mean, it's not really the most exciting thing in the world. As we've already seen this in Hollow's Monster Jam. Uh, we have the painted in spikes. That's actually a nice addition. And other than that, it's really your basic red Max D with orange rims, of course. And also the uh, front engine chassis. So that is your look at the one and only Red Max D from Spin Master Monster Jam. Now we got the Yellow Max D. So we're going to start off with the Yellow Max. We'll continue on with the Yellow Max D. I like this one a lot better. I love the yellow one. Um, definitely my favorite one out of the red and yellow. So here we go. We got 11 time champion because, of course, at the time, Tom Mensa is an 11 time champion, not a 12 time champion as we know him as right now. We have the painted in spikes with a black stripe. We got the Max D uh, logos and the face on the side with the Tom Mensa symbol right there. Black windshield, we got the normal front engine chassis, and you can sort of see the motor right there a little bit. And here's the other side, the exact same. And then we also got here that part and that part. The only thing is they need to add a Monster logo on this one, and also on the red Max D, they need to add a Monster logo right there, that little red spot in the in between the headlights so basically right there i believe at least so yeah that is the yellow max d next up we have the um max d as we all know the double backflip max d so here it is guys the one that did the double backflip the one that everyone knows as the one that actually fully completed a double backflip and the only one i think that has completed double backflip here it is um, 3D face on a non-spike Max D. Uh, that's pretty cool. They actually made a separate casting just for this truck alone. Here is the top. And we have the like LED things right there on the uh, side panel of the roof. There is the other side of it right there. And here is the top. One more time. Back. No Mashem logo this time. And 10 time champion decade of destruction, and there we go. And that is a look at the one and only Max D orange rims and the normal chassis and all that stuff. Now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go on to the one that really made Max D famous, and what made Tom Pence the madman that he is nowadays. Maximum destruction. Yes, guys, maximum destruction. Uh, it is the truck that started. Most of it, um, basically I started the whole chaos sort of thing, and, uh, yeah, this truck is really, really cool for what it is. I'm really happy with how this one looks. The master nailed it on uh, this one, other than the logo. So here we go, we're gonna get into that right now, though. You guys are wondering what I'm talking about. So here we go, we have the side panel, all normal maximum instruction style. The only thing I would say they had to do is they did change this on the Mix 14 uh, version, is add... From this, I think they, I think they added it, but I don't know. I've watched, I haven't seen it in a while. Um, we do have the black window and the macho logo. The macho logo is supposed to be in the black window. And then other than that, I think that the only thing that's inaccurate about this macro construction on a mission right there. Yes, that's always what macro construction has been about. He's always been uh, on a mission to be the best truck out there. So there we go, we have the front engine, of course. Because Mac Construction always had a front engine. Not always, but sometimes, or most of the time did. Uh, for its time, sometimes it ran a different engine for a certain driver. But so there you go. And then this is my favorite part. The, um, I don't know what you would call this, but from the robot uh, monster on the top. You got those, like, coil, uh, like, things coming out of his head. That was pretty cool. 
and then the 10 time world champion logo up there focusing that video all Tom Benz and the speedometer very very nice job with this maximum instruction and also the best maximum instruction that we have had ever in diecast film so far at least and also has those really beefy uh, old tires which all of them do other than well actually no only three of them do the other ones of course have these normal tires but yeah, that is basically your know, my look, my look in my opinion on the max construction and the Moss Gen Max D. Oh boy, this is the one that people have been criticizing quite a bit. The team men's from Spin Master Moss Gen. Not only is this not the most accurate team men's, but also the Hot with Monster Jam version that they created was inaccurate. Which we're gonna go back to the 2017 one. I don't have it, but I'm gonna talk about it. The 2017 uh, no, Team Men's was inaccurate with the paint color. This one is also inaccurate with the paint color. It was never a harsh sort of gold like this. It was sort of like in the middle of a gold, of this gold, and like a sort of copper bronze color. Um, their Team Men's, the first ever one made. I believe, what? no, no, the Team Men's, there you go, I'm sorry. The Team Men's that they made in 2017 the flashback is the most accurate paint color, and if the Master can apply that to there, and also, we need to add the silver outlining around the Team Men's logos, and all the other logos. But other than that, this is a perfect Team Men's, and I'm very happy to at least own a Team Men's, since this is my first ever Team Men's in my collection. So here we go. We got the Team Men's graphics on the side, USHRA.com, the uh, Hot Rod Association logo, their Team Men's, with the flame, of course, in Team Men's fashion. Tom Men's right there in red on the door. We got the Auto Mission. That thing has never changed, ever. Um, from Team Men's switching to Men's Construction, it's always been Auto Mission, and I love it. I love that detail. We have the little yellow headlights and the black lights, or blacked out lights. Uh, the windshield, of course, is so blacked out you can't even see through it. We have the little flames on the side, and then we have here the other flames and Tom Lens and Team Lens again. Uh, USHRA.com up there in the window. We got the flames and the flames on the top of Team Lens. I'm going to bring that to the back. Right now, we got the uh, four lights, uh, tail lights here, with the monster logo, and then we have the top, which of course there it is, Team Mens and Tom Mens' face right there, as you guys can see if I can focus on that for you guys. Uh, I don't think it wants to focus right now, but, oh there you go, so there you go, that's beautiful, and then we also have on the hood, uh, didn't really mention that, but the 2000 to 2001 world champion, of course, <laughs> that is Goldberg's dates, I believe. So, yeah. But uh, again, we'll never have a Goldberg, so I guess this is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's my look at the Max D 5 pack, as Spin Master uh, calls it, the Max D Retro Edition 5 pack. In my opinion, I feel like it was a great 5 pack. Um, nothing really to complain about, in my personal opinion. Um, but of course, Everyone has their own opinions on how the diecast should have been made, blah blah blah, whatever. I mean, my opinion's been nice right now, but I'm happy that we at least got some sort of look into um, the Max D sort of style of what it is today. So, yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out, this five pack. Uh, definitely the best five pack. Um, that we've gotten uh, in a long time. Well, not in a long time. I, in my opinion, it's a great five pack. Nothing really too much to be said about it. Like, nothing bad. I'm just saying that uh, the Gravedigger one was definitely better. Uh, yeah, not trying to hate too much on that one, but I mean, yeah. this one could have been a little bit better, at least in my opinion. But yeah. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Like, subscribe. Peace out. Mosh and Firestorm out.